Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. <laughs> Now we continue our caribou swing. You know, there's many, many lakes up here. All fantastic. This new one, yeah. we're not gonna say the name, but pretty special place. Yeah, we hope to hit a bunch of yeah. lakes we fished before. Again, we've never filmed there, but no. we're just gonna not name the names because they're sensitive, right? Yeah. Smaller lakes, yeah. we're gonna hit through the caribou, so. Excellent. And, well, yeah. it's another caribou lake today. So we take you sport fishing on the fly. fish over 20 yeah in the shallows yeah looks like a few pounds real nice cromer oh, oh yeah there he oh goes. there he's gone it's gone <laughs> all right you better check your my throat, your sample. throat sample see what uh see if you're snacking on something it's being tough well cold front terrible cold, cold front <laughs> let's see what we got in here Don't tell me they're Chiabras. <laughs> shrimp, one little shrimp. No, really? Yeah. One little shrimp in there. Yeah. One fresh little oh, yeah. shrimp. Dale did a throat sample. And look at the way they're hitting it. They're just, just barely taking it. And that's the problem, you know, when you've uh, got no hatch, we were hoping for some downsers or something. We did a throat sample. Nothing, like nothing. <laughs> Little shrimp. Right. And when you get a throat sample like that and they're not feeding, you just, it's bottom line is you have to go with the tractors. It's it, it's just the way it is. If you want to catch fish. Or you can sit and work, <laughs> a, you know, work a leech like I was doing. I had my indicator, I was working a leech. Nothing, no hits, no nothing. Dale had a few smaller ones on to start. Then of course I went uh, back to our tractor pattern and bam, right away. And there's another nice one. You just yeah. got one about this size too. Yeah. Now again, around that 20 inch, 20 inch, but look at that right yeah, on the Yeah, nice panace. Yeah, just, yeah, just look taking at, a swipe at it. Yeah, eh? look at right in the tip. Yeah, just oh, <laughs> right in the right tip. At, oh, oh look he's at, out. Yeah. He's out, see? Wow, okay. 
Now you can see the flies out. I'll just hold them up here. These panasque are beautiful. They're beautiful. Look at the colors, you know, they're just uh, flies out. There's a fly. Yeah, that's the nice thing about fishing the caribou. We're going through a bunch of caribou lakes. Yeah. That's beautiful. These panasque, look at, they're thinner, but look at the colors, they're beautiful. You know, just chrome. There he goes, beautiful. Good attractor pattern to start. Now we'll have to search them out and see. First cast. Nice. That's good. Right on. Oh, yeah. Hang in the leash. Got to see the indicator go down. <laughs> the well, indicator went down. Well, you got the, you know, you got the attractor on and you got a, you got a couple. I'm well, just testing. And then, yeah. yeah, testing all the water. And then we thought, oh, we'll check out here. But we saw a few fish moving along this weed edge. And, you know, classic. You're either going to throw a shrimp this time of year on a, you know, type three real fast sink, or you put on a leech. And I put on uh, one of our favorites from, uh, from our site. It's, uh, you know, the brown, the, essentially the magic, magic brown. I put on a magic brown, this guy hit it right away. And they're cruising in here. There's not yeah. a huge amount of fish yet, but uh, all quality size, you know, all that beautiful panasque in the three, three to four pound range right now. Just gorgeous fish. Well, unsettled weather, eh? We've oh, yeah. Sun and then rain and yeah. sun. And this guy took a, you know, it's too bad we crank yeah. up the camera so late because they always go yeah. for those screaming runs and <laughs> jump big air and you're like, get the camera, but we're, well, we're slowing the trigger, but look at them digging. So, you know, in these caribou lakes, when you're up in these caribou lakes, recommended setups, big rods, like minimum five weights because you're hooking big fish. All these caribou lakes, have fish up to 13 pounds, like all of them. There's, you know, 20, 30 different lakes up in the caribou that have big fish. So when you come up here, make sure minimum five weight. Look at this guy, he's just muscling. I can't even get him up. He's not a big fish. Like he's just, you know, nice, probably, oh, nice you know, panache, nice solid, though. good solid, solid three, three plus four pounds. Yeah, just, oh, yeah, gorgeous. And Panasque, you know, screen yeah. in this lake. It is just beautiful and there's, there's the magic brown leech right on the, oh, on the side of the lip. He keeps turning the other way. Why do they always do that? Okay, there's the magic brown. There it is, right off the site. You know, a little magic brown leech. And this one we tied you on the bench on actually series 24. I tied this and it's got the special sparkle. I put some extra sparkle in there. So it's a little different, but you know, they always are. Okay, let's get this guy up here. Show everybody. Oh, but look at that. Chunky, you know? Definitely a 20 inch plus fish. Look at that. Just chrome. Gorgeous fish. Heavy too. Probably a good solid four pounds. There she goes. <laughs> so, you gotta have them. Like I said, the little uh, leeches in here, of course, the ruby eye. Brian's a ruby eyed. Our small little ruby eye is always good, but there's the magic brown, and I tied on the bench in 24, and I just put in the brown, but see, you can see the sparkle at the back. My underbody is a real, I love this light bright material. Any kind of light bright 
angel hair, you put it under the body, and then you cover it with something darker, oh, they're killer. And that guy caught him. So let's go. Let's get another one. I got to see my bobber go down. Wow, they're just like clones again yeah. on the leech. You know, Dale, Dale's favorite spot in this lake is, uh, is right in this little bay. You know, it's a beautiful little bay and no one seems to fish it. Dale said, every time I come in here, I pound fish. So we came in right away. We've had four or five fish. You've lost numerous ones, yeah. eh? Yeah. On your, uh, on your tractor pattern. But I'm, I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish insects today. <laughs> As Kathy told us, we're gonna fish insects. So put on my nice leech, you know, always a good searching pattern in the fall. Classic, right? The, the Rubiad leech, our, our magic brown leech, they always work. Sheridan Lake, and again, all these different lakes up through the caribou, it's phenomenal. So I'm gonna see if I can get this guy on the reel without losing him. And get him in for everybody. So again, recommend a setup, five weight minimum, five weight rod. I'm using a five weight 10 foot. I like the 10 footers for the uh, indicators, right? Whenever you're fishing indicators, longer rods are better because you can uh, roll out the cast a little nicer. And there he is there. And what I'm finding, very subtle takes right now. They just, the indicator is barely moving. Like unless you're, unless you're really paying attention, you don't get them because it barely moves. So hopefully they crank up a little bit more in the afternoon. So this guy would be considered one of the smaller fish in here. <laughs> really, I mean, for what we've been catching. But still, you know, a nice fish in anywhere. Oh, yeah, any a nice fish anywhere. Like yeah. there he is. Okay. And the classic, there's the leech right, right in the top of the lip. Oh, why are they always, there it is. Again, the magic brown, killer. Little guy, what I consider. <laughs> What I consider a little guy for the caribou region, you know, but again with these panask, you know, there's black waters panask, but these panask are just gorgeous. Look at those. They're just beautiful. And there he goes. Beautiful fish. And he's gone. All right. The magic brown. He gets to see his barber go down today. I love it. I haven't been able to see my barber go down for a few days, so I was getting a little anxious. <laughs> well, them. we've only fished now for about an hour, and we've yeah. had like seven or eight oh, fish yeah. on. Lots in so this bay. much better. I think I'm going to hang something. <laughs> I might actually go to insects. Bull, and bulldog's going to go to insects. I think <laughs> I might hang something. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. We've converted them. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the magic brown jig leech. We're actually going to tie it jig style, uh, it works as good as a ballast leech, so make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 10 H400BL jig hook, some 12 watt fluorescent red threaded tie whip, a 764 inch slotted tungsten brown bead for the bead, some rusty olive angel hair for the tail, and some brown brick Arizona semi seal for the body. So to start the fly off, I put the slotted bead onto the hook. And it's better to have the slotted tungsten bead. If you've just got a normal tungsten bead, it might not fit all the way on, so make sure it's slotted. And then we're gonna take our thread and just start tying in a little base layer right on the hook. Now that we have the thread tied in, I'm gonna take a small amount. Now, not too much. You just want a little bit of flash of the tail. So I've taken a small amount of my angel hair. What I'm going to do is tie it in and tie it right back to the hook bend and then bring this material back and tie over. Now that you have the tail tied in, I'm going to form a dubbing loop about, uh, you know, about four inches long. Wind your thread forward and then put your dubbing into the dubbing loop to form a nice dubbing brush. And as you wind your 
dubbing brush, as you're forming your dubbing brush, just pull out some of the extra dubbing. Now that you have the dubbing brush formed, we're just going to wrap it forward. And as you wrap forward, continually pull this material back. Pull the dubbing back to start forming the body. And tie off right behind the bead. Now the body's tied in, we're going to do our, our traditional whip finish at the head, right behind the bead. And I like to again do a couple of whips on it because I want to form a little hot spot on the flyer right at the head. So do a couple whip finishes and cut off your thread. So to finish the fly off, we want to pick out the dubbing. So what I do is, just got a little dubbing pick here. Just pick it all out and pull it back. Pick out as much as you can all around the fly and then pull it back. And that dubbing should form around the tail in a nice light amount. Just pull off any extra you have at the back and you have a real nice thin looking leech. So there it is, the finished Magic Brown Jig Leech. You know what we found is the balanced leech with, these, with this color combination and a normal leech in this color combination work great. And then we started using it in a jig style and it's even more effective. So make sure you have some in your fly box. Quite a rip. I thought he'd be tired. Here he comes. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. How is that for a yeah, gorgeous? Yeah, fish. Right in the corner. I think this guy might be a little bit bigger than our, our normal. He was big. Four pounds. He looked big. He, he was cartwheeling. That yeah. was. I think he's more in the, the the six plus range. I think. Oh yeah, you may have to come back. I know. Well, we got both anchor ropes down, yeah. right? Careful. Oh man, he's heavy. Look at my rod. Holy oh no, I cartwheeled. Yeah, this is old man. Oh, 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 oh. under. Oh, oh under. Ah, oh, how am I going to do this now? You know what? I'm going to pull the anchor. No, don't. No. Don't. <laughs> oh, you got a hundred out, yeah. Okay, you know what? I need that neck because that is this is a big fish. Oh, I'll see if I can. The camera work with the net could be. Oh yeah, that was big though when he cartwheeled. Oh yeah, I know he's he's well. You know he looks about the same. Oh That's yeah, he's a little bit. Yeah, he's bigger. Oh look at he's just on the edge. Oh, oh, I got him there. oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a 24 that's a plusser. Yeah, that's a toad. That's a beauty. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that little. So when you come to the caribou, look at the little magic brown. Right? Oh, right in that mask right there. Look at that. It's getting beat up, but look at the sparkle <laughs> I put underneath, right? It's that little bit of sparkle underbody that does it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, gee. Oh, he's going to go. He wants to go. Oh, there he goes. 
He doesn't want to go. Oh. Oh. So again, 24 incher, like we're getting just quality fish, eh? Oh. Oh. The cartwheel, yeah, it's too bad, boy. If you ever had the camera running, there's been some spectacular jumping. Wow, and that little magic brown, it's being killer in there. That, and killer. finally, that guy, he hit it. My indicator was going that time. It wasn't a little <laughs> tuk tuk. It was gone right on. How cool is that? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Can't keep him out of the anchor. He's right here. He's right here. Go that way. Go that way. He's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. He's good. So starting our caribou swing, we had a good time of dragging. Yeah. Now this lake, average size was probably oh, three, three to four, four pounds. pounds. Yeah. Had a great day today. Yeah, you know, the cool thing was I decided to go with the insects today. You know, insects. Yeah, I decided <laughs> if I'm going to fish a leech or fish an insect, you had your tractor pattern. It was yeah. kind of pretty even, right? Yeah, it was pretty even. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of cool to see, but what a special lake. Wow. Oh, and lots of nice fish. Good yeah. fighters, nice panache rainbows. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. We will definitely be back, but we want to thank the Prestige Hotels. Yeah. You know what? Always a great sponsor putting us up. Dry frame. Fantastic. I had my loop set up today. Outstanding rod reel set up. You know, all our sponsors are fantastic. So when you got a chance, support our sponsors. But when you're out here, take care. Conserve our waters. And we'll see you next time. We take the sport fishing on the fly. On to yeah. the next lake. To the next lake.